What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Game, and, and this video is going to be a little bit different. This video is more of a miniature love letter, if you will, to some of the greatest games of all time, on the greatest system of all time, in the greatest era of all time. I'm not talking about role-playing games on the PS1, I'm not talking about role-playing games on the PS2. I'm talking about role-playing games on the 16-bit Super Nintendo, the greatest console of the greatest console generation ever made, with some of the highest quality titles ever made by first and third party developers. So when you look at everything we have from this era alone that has withstood the test of time, the critical acclaim, and most importantly, the test and critical nature of the fans. These games stand head and shoulders above the rest. Usually, there's not even a comparison. Now, of course, I can't make this video an hour long and have every single game in here, so it's going to be a quick little run-through of one or two, or three or four, of the some of the highest rated, highest regarded, well regarded games of all time. The reason for that is these games are gaming to us. These games are our childhood. These games are our memories. These games are our connection to gaming, to the genre. These games, as I said, are gaming to us. So no matter what you're doing, this video is for you. If you're traveling through time on a huge solo epic to port the inevitable end of the world, this one is for you. Whether you're trying to find a link to the past and assemble the Triforce and stop Ganon, this is for you. Whether you've just pulled a sword from a stone outside your village, teamed up with two friends and head off to save the world, stop the Empire and take down the Mana Fortress, this one is for you. And whether you're a thief, a swordsman, a magic wielding princess, a cleric, an Amazon or the son of the Beast King, this one is for you. And of course it would be remiss of me to mention because this video unfortunately can't be an hour long. This one is for all the others that couldn't get an honorable proper mention or proper display in this video. This one is for the likes of ActRaiser, ActRaiser 2, Bread of Fire, Bread of Fire 2, Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 6, Mystic Quest Legend, aka Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for you American viewers out there, Illusion of Time, aka Illusion of Gaia for you American viewers out there, Terranigma, Soul Blazer, Secret of Evermore, Super Mario RPG, Earthbound, and of course the list goes on. And then, just to get the extra little bit in there, just to show how much we, as fans, love these games, love this era, and love everything about them, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't mention some of the ones that never made it properly, officially, at the time, to the English-speaking regions. We have our Final Fantasy Vs, our Secret of Mana 2s, please Square Enix, localize it for the West, Star Ocean and Tales of Fantasia. Some of these series just starting on the Super Nintendo and of course the love that they have received ever since in the past 20 years is still unrivaled to this day. Because as I mentioned, these games are our memories. They will live on forever in our hearts, in our minds, and in our experiences that we share with everyone we know and love, our friends, our family, and of course, ourselves. And when you look at every experience that every one of us has ever had, how we've all individually taken our own paths to stop the Mana Fortress, to stop Lavos, or whatever our quest is, the experience we've had, the people we've shared it with, the music, the sounds we've heard, the sights we've seen, the things we've done, the people we've met are absolutely irreplaceable.